So, Ian, um, out of all the managers you have played for, who has inspired you the most? Um, I would have to say Bob Paisley because he's the one that bought me and uh, I came through as an 18 year old I was really really shy and it's difficult to get into the, the atmosphere of the dressing room because uh, the, all the banter was going on everything in the, in the dressing room and I think Bob Paisley, he never said too much but what he did, I think he was a great man manager and uh, he gave me the, the confidence individually to go out there and prove that I was good enough and when I used to in them days, you used to train Monday, Tuesday together. You'd have Wednesday off and Thursday, Friday, you'd have the first team and you'd have the reserves. And for some reason, Bob Paisley always had me training with the first team uh, on the Thursday and Friday, then go and play for the reserves on the Saturday. And, and basically, um, and for the reserve first six months, I didn't play that well for Liverpool, but then I started getting into it, really. And Bob Paisley said, always said the thing, you know, I was always better with better players. So but it, I can see where he was coming from then. And when, when David Johnson got injured, you know, Bob Paisley gave me the chance. He told me to be greedy, to be selfish and score goals. And I think that little bit of confidence in there and made me feel, you know, he just said it in one line as well. He didn't go on and like there, but he said it one line as, and I thought without doubt, no, Kenny, Kenny was the same when he took over as player manager. But I think initially, as a, from a young age, you never forget that. And when I, when Kenny was manager, I think I was already I was in my prime and everything then. And but I think to to get me going was without doubt Bob Paisley. I think the, mm. I mean obviously I mean I never played under mm. obviously uh, mm. Bob anyway, but I think the part and parcel of being a good manager is being, mm. being a great man manager and I think you know, obviously mm. the likes of Alex mm. Ferguson mm. and Roy Evans, Kenny Dagley, yeah. are all good man managers and I think that's I think that's. Well they were good as well, I think from a football's point of view, like you get some people uh, they're like um, like school teachers, they, they'll take you 10 minutes to say something where I think football is sometimes the concentration span is not, is, doesn't like that so uh, I think the good man manager will say in about, I think good man will say in about 30 seconds what you need to do in 10 minutes. Mm. Lovely. Um, if you had to play with anyone in modern day, who would you choose as your strike partner? Strike partner? If you could choose someone now who's playing the Premiership. Well, again, you know, I think the form Luis Suarez is in at the moment, he's in unbelievable form, you know, and uh, it's great. I think uh, when he's playing, you always, when you see some of the chances there, you know, he makes, he doesn't score them, but when you see the rebounds, I'm thinking, you know, when the prime there, you just tap, be tapping them in. Like, you know, I was lucky to have Kenny and all that, but I think Suarez, he's one of them. And, um, you know, you, you, you just have to feed off him. And I think I'd be able to feed off him. But it, for me, one of the best Premier strikers has been Wayne Rooney. You know, I, I, what people say, oh, no, play some Man United and all that. But I think uh, his work rate and everything is, is absolutely superb. And I think Wayne Rooney could play with anyone. Wayne really must have it hard when he comes and plays at the... Yeah, he does. Well, that's the way it is. That's a typical game. That's what Derby's on. He made the worst because he played for Everton. You know, he's come back and he's scoring against uh, Liverpool. He's playing for Liverpool. Yeah, Wayne Rooney. What about me? I'm a, what? The Man United Present fans hate... No, the Man United... Oh. No, oh, I right. The Man United fans hate me. I played for Leeds, oh, yeah. Man City, Liverpool. Oh, yeah. So apart from that, I don't yeah. really know why they So if you want to ask about Wayne Rooney, ask him first. <laughs> what is the best goal you scored in your career? I, it's very, very difficult because, again, I get that question all the time and I never have a favourite goal because my job, as I said before, my job's a score goal. I have a favourite game, but um, I don't have a favourite goal. Favorite game? I think as one of them has been 1986, FA Cup final. You know, uh, well, that because it was the only time Liverpool had done a double. Well, that no. must be one of your favourite goals, then, wasn't it? That... I scored two, though, didn't I? But I don't have it. I, don't, I see as a, everything rolled into one. I see as a, my, as a kid, I dreamed about scoring a winning goal in the FA Cup. Like kids now, it's the Champions League final and all that. But me, as a kid, I used to watch the FA Cup final go out pretending I was that person who scored it in the 70s and all that. And I got the chance to do it. First time ever I got to uh, in the 80s, Liverpool. Early on in the 80s, Liverpool, no, we didn't win the FA Cup or anything. No, it's just like there. Yeah. So to get to the FA Cup final, we just won the league the week before. And no, it's Ever we just beat Everton for the league and we're playing Everton in the Cup final. You know, and you're losing one in half time, Gary Lineker scores and come out time and um, you know, I scored two and we won the FA Cups like everything rolled into one for me it was absolutely my dream had come true and uh, that's why I just absolutely love you no know, FA Cup finals I, yeah, I mean I know what you mean mm. in terms of favourite goals because mm. again I get asked that mm. question a lot but um, I mean I it sounds stupid but I like tappings because you know that you're doing your job and, it's bread and butter isn't it yeah. uh, you know mm. these goals you, know, you score every blue moon the, the likes of you know, 25 yeah. yard mm. into the top corner or it's yeah. positional, like you used to call it free kicks as well. You used to call it some great free kicks and everything. And, but again, that's what it's a feeling. I, whether you score from 25 yards or two yards, it's still the same feeling when the ball hits the back of the net, isn't it? But again, when you, when you do score and it's like in a six yard box, it's a natural instinct where, you know, I don't think you can really teach that. You know, you can like run, but you can, and it's a natural, what you're seeing is, is, 
lies, you become live and you're reacting to something there and that's what I think is a sign of natural growth. I think it's just being clever, isn't it? Yeah. Being clever, being, you know, knowing where to go and, you know, mm. how, how to react mm. to where you think mm. the ball's going to be. So I think, you know, mm. to answer that one, it's yeah. just being clever.